when all hope is lost in a spiritual battle, do this. Do this and you will become spiritually and physically untouchable. Have you been fighting an unending battles? From one battle to the other, in your dream and in a physical life, you are overwhelmed with battle. You have done everything possible for this battle to end. You have done different types of spiritual work, pray different type of prayer you know, consult different types of spiritualists, man of God, go to different churches, yet the battle persists. Believe me, if you will follow me to the end of this video, I will give you a blueprint of what you will do and the battle will be over. Welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit, but it becomes your starting point. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you are highly welcome. Please do it to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate all your blessings and your contribution towards the growth of this channel. Thank you so much. For my new timers, please simply go through the channel, whatever you might be going through. I must have done one or two videos on it. And uh, how do you discover this video? Just write Jenny Action TV slash the keyword in that video. Let's say favor, you will actually get the video. But peradventure, you shake and you could not see. You can just drop a suggestive video in the comment section. God giving me inspiration, I will actually do it. So without actually wasting your time, let's delve into the video. Now, if you have tried all possible best to win a spiritual battle, you are facing literally spiritual battle. In your dreams, you see this battle. Physically, you see it manifesting in your life from time to time, unnecessarily marks in your body, weaknesses in the body. Sometimes it seems that your body, legs will not move, unusual headache, different things is happening to you and you don't know what else to do you have done every recipe you know and yet it's not working do this number one put your whole trust in god have this mindset that god have the final say that if if nobody can win god in a battle this battle you will surely win it now with that mindset again Make sure that you are not defeated in your heart. Once you begin to feel weak and be defeated in your heart, then that battle will overwhelm you. That is number two. Number three, be sure that your hands is clean, that you are not the reason why this battle is all over you. Know it very well. There is another day that says, He who fetches and infested firewood has actually called lizard for a ceremony so just make sure that you too you have not done something that may warrant you to be exposed to this particular battle probably you have got yourself initiated into secret court witchcraft covid and you are now a kind of trying to dodge some of their requests or above all you have not been sending arrows to somebody else because most of the times when you are doing some of these evil things nature is serious with sowing and reaping you have a way of coming back to you but when you have shake all this and you are sure that your hand is very very clean my dear wake up around 4 to 5 a.m in the morning and get your first morning urine there is a co-relationship between you and your first morning urine and you there is virtually no nothing you can manifest to it you there is no battle you can know win with it so assuming that this is the container you use to get your first morning urine or you get a plate like this and got that your first morning urine around 4 to 5 a.m in the morning then get a container like this and transfer that to your first morning urine unless you are a man it may not be easy for you to put to urinate inside this can directly so if you're a woman it's better you urinate it inside something like this 
then pour it in a can like this. When you have done that, you can get a, a little spoon like this, that, that is like this ice cream spoon or anything that is small, then get me pepper. Find the one that is hurting very well. It's either you get red pepper, black pepper, chili pepper, so long as it's grinded and it's hurting very well, measure three spoon or something like this and add to that your first morning urine. When you have done that, you get pin, office pin. Office pin like this, not needle, the office pin. This is a mixture of needle and office pin here, in here. So you get exactly office pins, pins like this, 21 pieces of this office pin, 21 pieces. So when you get 21 pieces of this type of office pin, then you add it to that particular your early morning urine that you have added pepper, add 21 pieces of that office pin. So when you have done that, the next thing you will need to do, so it means that when you want to do this particular recipe, you must have your natural hair on you. You get the scissors like this and cut a little bit of your natural hair, any parts you like, cut it and add it in that particular can. When you have done this, first of all, get your Bible, read Psalm 51, asking God for mercy in any way you must have conscious of his glory that will make it not to answer your prayer. You plead that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you, purge and sanctify you, especially if you are a Christian. The next thing you do is get Psalm 46, read it inside this container, get Psalm 35, read it inside this container, cover it, Begin to shake it and begin to make your prayers that you are tired of this battle. You don't know where this battle is coming from. That this represents your own arrows. These 21 pins in this can is your own arrow. That whosoever is after your life and whosoever is after your glory, whosoever is after your star, whosoever that is sending this on ending, ending battle to you, that your hair inside here represents your glory. Your urine is part and parcel of your life. That as this paper is inside this can, let the person begin to experience paper all over him or her body. Let that person not have peace. That somebody, when somebody eats enough paper, the person will not have peace. You'll be rushing to looking for water is paper in your mouth. So let this person be peppered. And that this person be peppered, that this 21 pin actually represents your own arrows. That you are sending these arrows back to the sender and back to as many as their agents that is involved. Believe me, no matter how many they are, they may not be up to 21, irrespective of how many they are, that you are sending your own arrow back to them, that today that you are free, that this arrow, this is your own arrow, you are sending it and ending their existence and the ending this battle once and for all. Then when you have prayed fervently as it is in your heart, keep that mixture. Remember that when you, when you cover it very well, it won't smell. The second they wake between 12 to 2 a.m., anytime 12 to 2 a.m., get the can again, read Psalm 51, ask God for mercy, read either Psalm 109 or Psalm 46 or Psalm 35, or read the three and begin to pray again that God will fight your battle, that this battle is going to be over today. The third day, you do the same thing. You can read Psalm 27, Psalm 46, Psalm 35, Psalm 109, or any of it, or two of it, or three of it, depending on your strength. So that's 12 midnight to 2 a.m. You do it. This is how you continue doing until seven day. It will pass every day of the week. Then on the seventh day of the week, carry this container, go and fling it anywhere you like. If you have forest, better. If you just have dustbin, but let it be very much outside your house, incinerator, anywhere that is convenient, make sure that you dispose it. Forget about it. You will see how God will end those battles. In fact, if the people that are fighting you are up to 21, all of them will start receiving arrows one after the other, and they will be forced to stop. And there is one thing I wish to caution about, make sure your hand is clean, because if your hand is not clean, you might actually be sending evil arrow to yourself. And that is why I tell people, stay away from hurting other people, because the person you may be hurting may not know anything about spiritual battles, may not know anything about spiritual work. The day the consciousness of such person will reawake, you are finished. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that someone has actually found value. And if you have done, please, please hit the red subscribe button. If you have not done so, comment on this video, 
Give me that thumbs up. Give me thumbs up. Please don't forget to press the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. So thank you once again for stopping by. See you later, Jenny. See you.